another short and sweet where the samples and reviews are short. And it's really sweet that they shared it with us. This one, not so short, it's full. It's uh, actually tall. Yeah, but it is really sweet uh, that Bob, thanks to Bob, yeah, yes. Yeah, Bob from Vegas Trams. Uh, gifted this uh, to us, so thank you, Bob. But this is the Smoke Wagon Rye. Bottled in Bond, pause for cork pop. Nope. Nope. Pause for cork pop. Ah. Oh, wow, that was really <laughs> anticlimactic, Chad. So 100 proof, um, this is a 51% rye, so this is a barely, a barely legal, legal rye. Yeah, 51 rye, 49 corn. I mean, I think you definitely, you can tell that a bit on the nose. It smells like a high rye bourbon. It does smell like a high mm -hmm. rye bourbon, but I like that. So do I. Kind of some sharp black pepper. Honestly, not a ton is jumping out at me. It's not like your pine needle eucalyptus no. type of mm -mm. high rye rye. I mean, the <laughs> notes that are in there are more subtle. So I think for me on this one, it's gonna help to revisit the nose after I take my first sip. So I think I'm gonna do that. Good advice to your health. Oh, that brings more spice on the palate than I was expecting for yes. a fairly legal. Yes, wow, yeah. Oh, building heat mm -hmm. there across all parts of the tongue. That peppery note definitely comes through. Yeah. It's still got, you know, the sweetness of a bourbon, mm -hmm. but with like a little bit of those, you know, more intense rye flavors. I feel like there was more sweetness on the nose than there is mm -hmm. on, on the first sip. But let's examine the finish. I mean, I'll we'll call it a medium finish, not we'll particularly long. But I wouldn't expect uh, a very long, bold finish from a bottled and bond either, you know? Well, yeah. It's still hanging out. You still mm -hmm. get a lot of flavor. Like yeah. right now, I'm still experiencing it. Staying more you know? in the mouth than the chest so far. Second sip. It's very gentle up front. Mm -hmm. It really um, pulls you in slowly to the yeah. rye. Like it's just, you're wading in. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not a jarring or anything. It's really, I think this is really enjoyable. With only the two points in uh, percentage of the mash bill, I feel like it is completely, I split down the middle, you get spice and you get sweetness. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, really just that 50-50 combo. But I really like that. Like I like getting the sweetness, you know, those caramely uh, brown sugar notes from the bourbon side of things. And then also getting that peppery, a little bit of cinnamon, mm -hmm. um, like spiced oakiness. I don't right. know, with the right. And then the longer, like after my second sip, it has started to settle into my chest a bit more. I think it's really delightful. You know what I think is really delightful? Whiskeyambitions.com. It's our home on the internet for our Glen Karen's Copitas rocks glasses, uh, water glasses, challenge coins, bottle cut candles, uh, hats, and hoodies as the hoodie weather it's comes to be short on. And sweet. <laughs> and more without interruptions at whiskeyambitions.com. You can become a patron at patreon.com slash night and join our community for as little as one buck a month. And that is where we release our exclusive barrel picks, the opportunity to participate in barrel picks, members only Patreon discounts at whiskeyambitions.com and more. It's actually a pretty decent mouthfeel. I think so too. Yeah. It's really, you know, gentle. And like, I feel like sometimes when you add water and we go down to like 100 proof or below, you can lose some of those mouthfeel characteristics, right? Mm -hmm. I think this is doing a good job of hanging on to it. Me too. Going back to the nose, it's like kind of a mold spice, not not so prominent with like that those sweeter notes that we were talking about and a hint of herbal. But again, the rye is really like, it's very gentle. It's weird, depending on the sip. Like I'll take a sip and I'll be like, yeah, I'll agree with you. It is really gentle. And I'll take another sip and I'm like, this rye for a hundred percent, hundred proof and a 51% rye is really hot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> on the finish, it does really, like I said, it, you kind of wade into it at first. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, this is sweet and gentle. And then you're like, oh, it's getting a little hot in here. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. you get to the end and you're like, wow, that is a bold pepper oak note that we're finishing on. Yeah. Overall. What do you say? What I say ye. Um, yeah, I dig it. It's, uh, we're not exactly sure the MSRP. We saw it on a couple sites, one for $79.99, another one for $89.99. So I would say this is probably around, you should see it for the 70 to 80. I don't know the distribution either. And this was yeah. picked up from the distillery, mm -hmm. so. In Nevada. I would say if you could find one and you like, you know, barely legal rise, if you're a fan of mm. Pikesville or Rittenhouse rye, things mm. like that, uh, this is gonna be a little spicier than those, I feel like. I think, I think maybe, yeah. But still in, in the realm. In the same vein. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, if we were redoing our what to drink this fall list, I would put this on there. Mm -hmm. I think it's very nice. Yeah. I might gonna have some more myself. Well, there you go. <laughs> well, hey, that's where we gotta leave it. If you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. Hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Thank you, Bob. Until next time, 
drink more bourbon. Mm-hmm.